So you woke up, it's the middle of the night, and your lower back is killing you. Here are my four steps on what to do to help reduce that pain, get you back to sleep, and help you make it to your chiropractor in the morning. I'm Dr. Greg Gersten with Align Wellness Center, and I help people to remove the blockages from their health so they can live amazing, fantastic lives. What I'm gonna go through with you in this video is the four things that I've found that our patients ask us for help for and wish that they knew the night before when they were up all night and they came in. So I'm gonna jump in and we're gonna get started with our first one. And this one is commonly a mistake that happens. And that is that you wanna use ice on your lower back. So we're gonna wind up using an ice pack and we're gonna put it down here on your lower back. The way that you use it best is to wind up laying on it for 20 minutes. Then you take it out for 20 minutes and then you put it back for 20 minutes more. A lot of people will look to use heat and the heat will wind up causing more inflammation, more restriction, and more pain. So if you wake up in the middle of the night, our first step is going to be to use ice. Stay tuned for the next step. The next thing you can do if you're having back pain and it's the middle of the night is take some things. So for many people, they'll look to do some kind of over-the-counter medication, but I don't typically recommend that. That's outside of my expertise. And so many of you have so many different things going on. I'm gonna take you on a different route. We're gonna go the natural way. So some natural things that can help to reduce that inflammation immediately uh, are things like fish oils. And I'll put my link down below to the favorite one that I like. Those are really safe, they're good on your gut, they wind up helping to reduce the inflammation. You should take them about 1,000 milligrams up to five times a day, and these are done consistently. The next one that I really love to help reduce inflammation quickly is vitamin D. Vitamin D is a powerful anti-inflammatory. It also helps your immune system. So if you're in acute pain, it's the middle of the night, this is something you can do real quick to help reducing it. For most people, it's not a problem to get started taking up to 10,000 international units of vitamin D to help get you out of pain. This isn't a long-term thing that you're gonna be on. This is to get you out of symptoms right now. Additionally, I find something massively powerful is hydration. If we think of the pain as due being due to inflammation and congestion, we've gotta flush out that inflammation in your body. So making sure that you drink tons of water is really important. Ideally, I recommend for individuals to wind up drinking at least 50% of their body weight in water each day. And if you're in pain, you can raise that up. If you wanna learn more about that, check out this video I did on how much water you can, should consume each day. These tips are some action steps you can take in the middle of the night to wind up helping to reduce that lower back pain and get you back to life. So it's the middle of the night, your lower back's been killing you, you can't get to sleep. What I wanna do is go over with you one of the tips we've found that has helped hundreds to wind up getting through the night. Uh, it winds up being how you should lie down or lay in your bed or on the floor to take as much pressure off of the lower back as you can. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what we've found to be the most effective. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna look to lay down you can do this on your bed or on the floor. And to me, what I've found is laying on my back or your back has been the easiest. Now the key to this is that you're gonna wanna bend your knees. That's gonna take a ton of pressure off of your hips and your pelvis. And if you can, as a next step, you're gonna wanna put even your feet up onto something. This once again takes more pressure off your hips and your pelvis, loosens up the lower back so that it can relax. When you wanna lay down like this, I'll, I've done it and guided people to do it for five to 10 minutes. If you're trying to fall asleep, you may just wanna fall asleep like this because it'll wind up being more comfortable. This is one of the key steps that I've found to getting through the night. To get through the night and um, you'll realize you need to get some help, contact your corrective chiropractor so that they can take care of it. On to the next. Our next tip on what you should be doing if you've got that lower back pain in the middle of the night is that you could use a topical anesthetic. Now that winds up being one of the lotions or creams that you have out there. Uh, we typically recommend something like a BioFreeze, but many of my other colleagues have used CBD oils. I don't have a brand that I represent or think is great, uh, but if you're in the middle of the night and you're having a problem, you could wind up rubbing some of that on your lower back and that can wind up helping you get through the evening. Uh, the key here is we gotta get through the evening so that you can wind up getting to the right provider to make sure that they figure out what's going on and apply the right therapies to help you get back to your life. Next up, I've got a super secret trip that we're gonna need to do in our next video. 
We went over our four tips on what you should be doing through the middle of the night when you've had lower back pain. If you've had challenges with them, go ahead and write down below. I'll see if I can come up with some other ones as quickly as I can. If you like videos like this, be sure and give this a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We're constantly creating information like this to help you get the most out of life and to remove those blockages. Now, I told you I was gonna give you a last secret option as well that's really gonna be essential, and that is that you get checked by a corrective chiropractor. When patients are under chiropractic care, what we have seen again and again is if they have an episode of a problem, then they wind up resolving so much quicker. They get back to life faster and their life is so much more fulfilled. It's one of the reasons we've developed our Lifestyle Wellness Club, where people commit to taking care of their spines for the rest of their lives, just like we do with our teeth. Because you know, if you wound up having a cavity, you'd continue to brush your teeth, wouldn't you, even though you had it? and you know that you'd get it filled or corrected, and then you'd get checked regularly. So let's make sure that we're taking care of our spine so that it can support us for the rest of your life. If you've got more questions, once again, leave them down below. I'm always looking to respond to these as fast as we can so that we can help you get back into life.